What's up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, I got a brand new updated Voltaic Fist guide. I wanted to redo my Voltaic Fist guide because I don't like my old one. I did it months ago and the dungeon has changed quite a lot recently. So I'm gonna do another run and show you guys all you need to know for the Voltaic Fist dungeon. So when you exit the ship, you'll see a door at the left. It's a hidden chest you need a uh, key card to open that so i have a video about all the key card locations uh, i'll put the link in the description so when you go down you'll see on the left you have some lasers and behind the lasers you see four locks and they're all red so you will need to pull four switches a b c d to unlock the big door so at the well at the start you'll see uh, a little battle so you can keep well, you should kill the enemies but if you're speed running you just gonna go straight ahead you don't even have to kill these guys but they'll be annoying so if you go all the way to the left on the last door on the left uh, there is the switch here it is switch a so all you need to do is uh, click that and it will turn green so it's one of the four locks now is green and you need three more you need B C and D all right, last thing here, there is a switch. You can see that switch. It will uh, let you go through the lasers because if you go there, you will see the lasers are uh, blocking the way. So you need to pull the switch and you will have a limited time to run uh, through the lasers to get to switch B. So let's pull that switch and you will see the timer. You have 15 seconds to get there. So let's just run straight to the lasers in less than 15 seconds it shouldn't be too hard unless you get lost but there you go so i'm through and in a couple of seconds you will see the lasers uh they will come back and you will be trapped here so you don't know what to do you can exit through that door but you have to destroy the barrel here and it will open that door from uh, to the backup generator and uh here it will activate the elevator that was at the ship there's also a uh, force field here so you can kill there's two red boxes. they are well hidden uh at the top you can shoot the two red boxes and it disables the force field now you have access to the switch b and you're halfway done you got a and b down now uh well you see here the key card but it's just one of the locations it can spawn somewhere else there's only one key card and there's mu multiple locations all right let's activate the power to the elevator now all right elevator is online so we'll go back to the ship my buddy's playing guitar here so you can chill while doing this dungeon as you can see all right you cannot exit through the lasers you you have to go through that door So take a right, and then there will be uh, another wave of enemies. You can skip if you want, you can kill them if you want. And then you go back up here, and back to the ship. Now that I have the key card, I can go and get the loot, but sometimes you will not have the key card yet when you go back to the elevator. But while we are here, let's just grab the loot. And we got a nice green rocket launcher all right so that is the elevator if you try to go there at the start uh you will see that there's no power but now that we activated the power back uh the elevator will come back up and we'll be able to access the other part of the dungeon let your friends enter and while you're all here activate that chill in all right here you have a door on the right and it is locked you will see uh, because there's a basin uh, basin flooded door is locked so you can go here and it will drain the basin you have to hack the computer it is very hard by the way very 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 hard uh, if you're playing on the controller I heard but I never tried with a controller all right so that will take a couple seconds it's gonna be draining the basin uh and then when it's drained you have access now while you're waiting you should go here to the reactor chamber door okay 
so this will give you access to another switch but there are lasers so if you manage to go through the lasers untouched uh, you will not trigger the alarm but if you touch the lasers the door will close and now you're in trouble you need your friends to help you because there will be a spawn a, a swarm of spiders uh, some guys managed to kill the spiders without dying but my friends are here to are here to help and it shouldn't be too hard but if you die here um, someone needs to revive you and you see here the blue lasers when you're done killing all the spiders it will open and you have access to lock D and we are three down now one more to go the last lock is in the way of the basin that is now drained so that is the new door that you can open now so let's go get the last one you can kill the stuff here or you can just run the thing though is when you run and you don't kill anything if you die your friends might not have time to revive you so if you kill the stuff and you run with your friends if someone dies at least you can uh, help each other all right uh the key card can spawn here sometimes and the other spawn was uh next to the the computer that i hacked all right you can also open that if you want so if someone dies and respawn at the ship it will uh give him access to that part of the dungeon all right let's keep going so you have some mines here if you try to run and you don't shoot the mines you can die but it is possible to run through the mines uh, if you got good HP and you got the the right um, the right lane right line. This will give you access to the starting area. By the way, see uh, the big door with the lasers. Oh yeah! By the way, there's another uh, secret loot chest here. I will show you guys how to kill these lasers. This is also giving you giving you access to the starting area. There's the two doors with the switch on the start. All right. So let's kill everything just to be safe. Don't really have to. Right, you see behind the generator, that is the switch that will uh, open the access to the last loot chest, the, the lasers I just showed you. And this here behind the crusher is the last switch switch C you can also see the key card here sometimes all right so all the locks are disengaged let's open the lasers and uh, get the last loot this disables the lasers forever let's go you got a purple nice all right so you can take one of these two doors to go back to the starting area this is the first corridor when we went to get switch a so you take a left here and it brings you back to this area it is the big uh, big big door that you can now unlock or try to hack to open it all right let's go this one here uh short timer I had two seconds left so yeah you might mess up sometimes and you can open the right or the left you can open both if you want usually when we speed run we only open one so you have less enemies that are gonna be in your way because behind this door guys is gonna be a big fight it's uh, one of the big big fights before the final boss so once you enter the fight is going to start in a couple seconds and there's another chest here so there's three loot chests all right let's kill all the yellows because they're uh, the most dangerous then you can pick up the trash That will do good. AM bomb is one of the good skills in the game. And we're done already with the big fight. All right. So four, one, two, three, four. You see uh, switches one 
uh, two, three, and four. So there's a code here. You have to open the locks in the right order. So take notes, the order is four, two, three, and one. So let's go. It used to be much harder because there used to be a timer on these door. If you unlock them, or the, the, the locks, if you unlock them too fast or too slow, um, the timing was uh, missed and you had to, to do it again. Here you cannot really mess up. The only thing that can go wrong is if you don't do the right combination in the right order, it will reset everything. But now we got it. Uh, four, two, three, one. It will open the big door to the boss fight and you get access to the final loot chest. We got three chests in here and we got a blue here, a machine gun. All right, so get ready for the boss fight. It is Regis, the Voltaic Fist. It's not so hard if you do or if you know what to do. So for the last fight, I like to use a sniper. So you see two little walls here. The boss will fight or will spawn in the middle. Just go behind these little walls. He cannot, he cannot damage you. And you have to shoot him in the back. If you shoot anywhere except in the back, the little circle there, you're doing zero damage. So the trick here is he's always going to be looking at one of you. So if you go on the same side, he's always going to look at you. So you have to sandwich or sandwich the guy so you should have at least one guy on the right one guy on the left or two and one or one and two but when he starts going like that get the hell out and take cover in one of the empty rooms here because you will see the floor will become blue some kind of uh energy or something if you touch the floor insta that insta die you're not gonna like it and your friends cannot revive you because you're on the floor. You have to wait. When the blue disappears, back to work. Go fight the boss again. So wait for him to not look at you. And my friends are shooting him in the back. Now he's going to turn to look at my friends. And now I will shoot him in the back. And then see, if you miss it's zero damage. Now he's going to look at me. And my friends are shooting it. And now he's back to recharging, so you have to take cover again in one of the four rooms. Again, this dungeon has been nerfed lately. It's been... it was much harder when the game came out because there was only one safe room and you have to find the right one and activate a switch to close the door. You had a limited time. If you don't find the right room in time, uh, you all die because the other three rooms were not safe. So if you're in the wrong room, you die. Now it's pretty easy. You can be in different rooms. You see my friends uh, in different rooms. No stress at all. So back to work, taking cover. And my friend's shooting the boss, so he's gonna look at us all the time. And Walu in the back can do all the damage. He took some hit though. Because he's standing very far. And there you go. Back to work. Taking cover. And then you can chill. Use your emotes. Play with that turntable. Play some music. And wait for the area to be safe outside. If you do that uh, dungeon a hundred times, you will see that this part here at the boss fight is a bit annoying. It's, it's taking some time. Oh, I wasted my supercharge. It's like I'm not, I'm not hitting the boss, but he's dead. And then you pick up the loot and you see A squad, 14 minutes. This dungeon can be run in uh, about six, seven minutes if you speed run and you split. Like, of course, if one guy go to A, one guy go to B, one guy go to C, uh, you can do that a lot faster. But it's a fun dungeon. It's my favorite, or it used to be my favorite dungeon in the game. Uh, he said, my bad for what? And A squad is when nobody dies, so it gives you extra ribbons, extra fame. 
And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the new updated Voltaic Fist guide. I know the game is about to come out on Nintendo Switch, and I know a lot of guys, if the dungeon is still in the game, a lot of guys will be probably looking for the video guide on YouTube. So I wanted to make uh, a better version of my old guide. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this guide was helpful, make sure you leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, watch my other videos. I'll be back soon. Take care.